Hi, it's Paris from the Epic Answer Guys, answering today's question, how does a garbage disposal work? I happen to have one with me right here. This one actually stopped working, and that's why I have it out available. I had to replace it. This worked for many, many years, and usually garbage disposal are an appliance that will last for a long time if you don't put the wrong sort of things down inside of them. Uh, hard nutshells, bone, silverware, fingers, keep those things out of the garbage disposal. That lasts a long time. It's very heavy. Oh. And let me show you in here. You're probably used to seeing this down in the bottom of your sink. This part actually butts up right to the bottom of your sink. You got the little plastic dealies here, and then down inside, you got the blades and the little things you see down in there. And all you know is keep your hand out of there. Make sure the forks don't fall down in there either. So you put food in here, the scraps from your cooking or your dinner. Put them in here, down at the bottom of that where that those little metal pieces are, there's a couple of very sharp blades that spin and chop up the food particles into very small pieces. Mm. They then get washed down, that's why you're always supposed to have the water running when you're using the garbage disposal because you've got to wash the stuff on through. Gets washed through the, the slicing and it comes out here. This actually hooks up to your wastewater, so it goes down uh, under your house or apartment and hooks up with your sewer pipe and then goes to the goes on out to a treatment plant or a septic tank. But basically the food goes in the top, gets ground up, and it comes out here. Now this little piece here is um, for a dishwasher attachment. Dishwashers, most dishwashers in the U.S., this isn't true in Europe, but in the U.S., they have uh, their own little built-in garbage disposal. And if you ever have heard your dishwasher after you're done hearing the swishy sound and that sound, you'll hear kind of a grind, grind sound. That's when the, the, um, the garbage disposal phase of dishwashing is going on and it's grinding up the food that it's washed off your dishes. That then comes from your dishwasher through a hose, a small hose, comes in here, and this basically goes in right above the blade so it can grind it up some more and then flushes it out here. So that's how it hooks up oh, to, the, to the dishwasher. Oh, it's a very heavy thing, so to install it, you really gotta, and you're, if you're down there on your back trying to lift this thing up over your head, you can see why it's a chore. Not particularly complicated, but you do have to get all of the seals right or it'll leak um, at the bottom of your sink. Here, here, you've got to get the seals right or water will go everywhere. And then at the bottom, here, we've got a couple wires, positive, negative. You have to have the wiring underneath your sink for a garbage disposal and it's just a matter of uh, you know twisting these into the appropriate little plastic pieces to hold it and once you've done that it's hooked up to the switch on the wall that's what controls the power to it when you flip that switch it activates the very heavy motor that's here in the bottom and it grinds up your food now this is a three-quarter horsepower oh. Uh, garbage disposal and having to replace it looked uh, at what's available and there are a lot of half horsepower and a lot of full horsepower not very many three-quarter I don't know if maybe back when this I think this is from the 80s when this was new maybe that was the standard but um, it seems like half horsepower now is the standard our plumber said there's no need to get anything bigger than that if you're not doing industrial food application and that's really what the uh, one horsepower garbage disposals are aimed at people who go through a whole lot of food and a whole lot of grinding so that's the basic principles of garbage disposal. Not real complicated. You can probably look under your sink and see this guy. Now you know what it is and what the various holes and plugs and wires do.